number two this isn't intended to be long because I know you guys don't like sitting through long videos so I'm gonna get right into it now we're gonna be learning about variables variables are a very simple concept but they mean so much in programming so you have to pay attention what a variable is it is it's something that allows you to store a value into a variable name which you declare so what I mean by it is this there's different types of variable types there's int there's double there's uh what else is there there's char there is long int and so on and so forth okay. but the basic the no, ones that you regularly use are int and double int is basically an integer variable and if you learn the math the integer is like 1 2 3 4 5 and like 0 negative 1 but it has no decimals right so after the integer after you declare it after you declare the type then you name it whatever you want but there's rules to naming it you cannot put like certain things in front of it like you can't put a sharp in front of a variable name and you can't put uh you can't put like that in front of a variable name like they have to be you can start it off with either a letter or you can have underscores in there i don't think you can have dashes in there so let's name the integer variable x and I'll put a semicolon to terminate it and let's set a value for x so let's put x is equal to 10 so now 10 is stored in the variable x so whenever I mention x the values of x equal to 10 so remember all that algebra you learned in math it actually makes sense now so let's put c out so let's test it out c out x and line and then let's put return 0 we can't forget that or it won't run and let's control F5 to run the program and let it build and compile okay now see when it prints it out it prints out 10 because the variable the, ver the value 10 is stored in the variable X so say so you make another variable let's name it Y and then oh we can also declare it in in the same line so we can y is equal to 5 put c out y so we put no actually let's put in a different one so because we put end l put c out y end l and then let's run this program okay and then we get 10 and 5 so that's the basics of variables another neat thing that you might think you can do is if you don't want to keep on writing like int x int y int z etc etc you can put it in a one line so int x y z oh x y and z z and then they're all declared as integer variables so that's the basis of integer um, of variables and I I hope it's not a long video so the next one I don't know what it's going to be on but I hope this tutorial helps thanks and bye